Hello everyone, welcome back to whatever this thing is. This time we have the SH Figures bootleg uh, Endgame Thor. Yeah, Bro Thor in an armor. Yeah. Um, it doesn't come in a box, it came in a simple shipping bag, which tend to happen with bootlegs. Um, I mean, you get them from China, they don't give you the box to save on shipping, so they say. But then you get some, uh, figures with the box that costs about the same, and both have free shipping, so who knows what's going on there. Um, but sometimes you have an option to add the box, but then it costs you more. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but I didn't get the box. <laughs> okay, so no box to look at. Um, but uh, for a bootleg, he is exceptional. He is great. I mean, articulation is all there. I mean, there's nothing missing. There's nothing wrong. It's super tight. I mean, not super tight, it's tight just enough, it's not loose, it's not too tight, so that's good. His details are almost exactly to the real deal, which is kind of shameful because the real deal didn't have very much paint details on him. He has the sculpting, but not too much paint, which is the same about amount of paint this guy has, which we'll take a look at in a second <clears throat> yeah uh, for accessories he has uh, some interchangeable hands you have two uh, closed gripping hands for uh, Mjolnir left and right um, you have two fist hands you have two open palm hands Wait, two or... Yeah, you have other style of open palm hands. I'll show you in a second. And you have um, two loose, looser gripping hands for uh, Stormbreaker. Um, the other hands are slightly more open palmed than the other ones. Or, I mean, this is what I showed you before, sorry. Uh, what he has there is more like gripping uh, his beard, uh, which is advertised on the box that I don't have, but I did see the, like, prom promotional images and whatnot. Uh, he comes also with Mjolnir, which is nicely detailed painted so shiny it won't focus on it <clears throat> yeah uh, nice chrome except there's a smudge on this one which is yeah um, but otherwise I mean, it's basically the same thing as the real figure arts which again this is kinda shameful for Bandai um, let's take a look at Stormbreaker here let go. I guess I'm worthy too. Um, yeah, you can see there's a little mishap in the silver paint. It's slightly bleeding onto the wood. I mean, there's supposed to be silver there, just not as much as there is. It's just supposed to be underneath all the the wood pieces because like <clears throat> it's Groot's hand holding it, uh, and you can tell. Uh, the slightly warping here and the edge but otherwise it's very nicely painted uh, no real um, shading I think I think the real one has a wash on it a black wash but that is whatever let's take a closer look 
at Thor here. Just yeah, a very nice face there. Looks exactly like it's supposed to look. Like it looks like Chris Hemsworth's face, which is very nice. I must say. I mean, just look at it. Uh, this eye is differently colored than the left one. It's brown instead of the blue because he has the uh, <clears throat> prosthetic eye he got from Rocket. Yeah. Um, the cape is nice. Nice fabric. Not stiff. Um, yeah, which is very nice. Not badly sewed either, sewn, I guess. Uh, there's the two different, like, fabrics, like red and black. Uh, it's open inside, which is also with the real one. It's like that. I guess maybe they want you to put there uh, your own uh, bendy wire, if you so choose. Uh, you have that option, yeah. So that's nice. Uh, painting you can't see it very well because it's very very subtle, but the torso, I mean, is it's just black plastic. But then this uh, the discs are different uh, colors except here. It's... No, there is painted too. It's like slightly uh, darker, but it's still gunmetal. Um, same with the arms but it's much more uh, noticeable there <clears throat> uh, although sorry burp although uh, the joints are wrong color I mean they're not the same color as the arms which are just cast in this uh, gun metal I guess maybe they're painted I'm not so sure but I think they're just uh, metallic Great plastic. Uh, you have this line across his belt. Not, no, no real paint here. Just some silver on the buckles of his uh, boots, both sides. So that's it for paint. Uh, sculpting is very nice. You can tell all the scale mail is there. Um, <clears throat> Because it's a bootleg, I think the mold has been maybe used too much. The sculpting is a little too soft. It's not as sharp as um, it's supposed to be. I guess you can't really see all that well. I mean, all the lines are kind of start to fade away. <clears throat> um, the hair is sculpted very nicely. And if you're asking yourself, yes, the real one is also golden hair which works for Thor but not when they do it for every single figure um, yeah which is just weird why choose the gold it's just not no one's hair is metallic right I don't think um, yeah, articulation wise, um, kind of surprised the amount of articulation he has being such a hefty fella. Um, silly gappy here because I guess you're not supposed to use the entire range of the double ball peg, which is what <clears throat> is there between the torso and the crotch. Yeah, uh, his head is on a double ball peg which is allows you nice range except the hair is sort of in the way and the hair is multiple pieces um, there's this floaty piece that just like hangs onto the ball peg itself like that um, and the neck is slightly offset I guess because he's fat uh, they wanted to give the illusion of 
you know, like Sully the Hunchback fatty look. <clears throat> um, so it's offset, but it has uh, also nice articulation, just a single ball uh, peg there. <clears throat> yeah, uh, shoulders are on this also offset which is uh, actually good this time uh, um, butterfly joint which allows them to move all around except this armor here just hinders it a little too much forward and backwards is barely moving at all <clears throat> there is a bolt hinge right there um, which is standard can move like that too so you have a faux bicep swivel in both the shoulder and the actual bicep I mean it's in the elbow but it goes up to the bicep <coughs> so you can move it like that it's just like a ball hinge connected to a ball peg right there so it hinges and just like moves slightly in a weird way I guess <clears throat> Sorry, um, getting a little coffee there. Um, there is a standard articulation on the on the wrists, so it can go up and down and all around. You know the drill. It's figure. It's not. So yeah, uh, there is a single ball peg in the diaphragm not too much range I mean kind of back kind of forward sure but not backwards at all uh, and it can oh no that's bad that's bad mm, yeah so it can barely twist don't twist it uh, this piece gets behind here and that is no good no good at all uh, but here he has twisting and back and forth um, decent amount but it's kind of gappy <clears throat> yeah uh, he has a drop down hinge here in the hip but doesn't work very well uh, it's kind of stuck it's too stiff there you can kick this much up uh, very little backwards there is a ball peg uh, connecting the hip to his thigh so you can move it all around in a weird way uh, but it's not not bad there is a decent knee joint there although um, the sculpting is kind of weird here with this piece there and just is flat so that's not too good and you know it's kind of gappy there but that's like that with the actual figure it's one too so that's a bandai fault not a bootleg fault and then there's a single ball in the ankle which allows them to move side to side up and down decent amount and then there is a toe hinge which is not too loose and not too stiff which is nice um, as bootlegs tend to be for figure arts he is sort of shorter than <clears throat> um, than the intended scale but it's fine because I don't have a legit MCU figure arts so yeah uh, here he is with uh, Homecoming Spider-Man, uh, which he stands tall for him. And then you have um, the Ant-Man from Endgame. Review before both of this. Both reviews will come soon, don't worry. And I have also uh, Iron Man 3. Um, well, not Iron Man, just Tony Stark, but I don't care enough to get up and go get him. So, we'll have to live with this. Yeah. 
Uh, so this is about it for the review. I really like this figure. Um, <clears throat> there's no really other uh, Fat Thor figure. There's the Marvel Legend build a figure one, and don't and it, it's not in stores anymore. So I don't think. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not in stores in my country. It never was, which is slightly, sh you know, shame. But there's the actual figure. It's one, and then there's this. So, <clears throat> if you're on a budget, go with this. It's, it's a good figure. Overall, yeah. Um. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I'll see you guys later.